All right, just got the uh, handheld Halo data logging kit, um, and I got it with their USB serial adapter. I recommend getting that because the Mitsubishi has a weird baud rate, and if you don't match it up, it's not going to work, and it can be very frustrating. Um, also, if you get the uh, handheld Halo, um, when you register it, if you have Vista, just go into safe mode when you register it and you get that key ID. Um, it's a lot easier and you won't have any problems or give yourself a headache. Um, directions come with it as far as hooking it up, real simple. Um, so you just, it's just pretty much plug and play and then it's just about learning the software, which is very customizable. You have 12 spots for um, different sensors, so when you get that oil gauge or that air fuel ratio gauge, you can get it on here and make sure you're logging it with all your uh, other sensors on the car. Um, so we'll go ahead and see if the car will fire up for us. It's been sitting, so hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. There we go. All right, now start up your uh, handheld halo. And so right here we got automatically connected. Um, sometimes the screen will pop up asking you which uh, COM port to connect to and just try either one. One of them will work for you. Um, so just a couple of our sensors on the side here. Battery voltage 13.8 volts. Um, you know you got your RPM 800. Check your duty pulse width. Um, but now I'll just take you through basically um, logging a little bit of data and saving on your computer so you can review it or so you can post it online and get other people to give comments on it um, or so that you can compare it to someone else's car. So if you want to see what's wrong with your car, you can uh, take your chart and run whatever pool they do out of third gear or just even revving the engine while uh, sitting still and see what uh, sensor you're getting the uh, voltage off or whatever whatever's wrong. Um, so under selected profile, um, if you only have three showing up here even after registering it, go to uh, just select default again and they should pop up giving you um, all the options. So for this specific uh, log, I'm just going to use a uh, time in advance. Uh, we'll put the uh, oxygen sensor rear on there. Uh, mass airflow. Um, we'll do uh, get the RPM. Um, air temperature is not a bad thing. And then the injector duty cycle. And knock some. Um, so when you first pull them up, they're all uh, not very organized. Very easy thing to do, just tile horizontally, and there you go. Brings them up nice and clean. All right. So to start the log, we'll hit start. Um, and uh, right now, just so I can watch it as I'm doing it, I'm gonna go ahead and go to window and bring up the uh, RPM window. Alright, so now I can see what I'm revving the car up to. So for this log, I'm going to let it idle for a little bit, then I'm going to bring it up to about 2,000 RPM, um, hold it there for about 30 seconds, and then bring it back down, let it idle again. Uh, sort of similar to what they do when you get your uh, emissions tested. Alright, so we'll go ahead and hit start, and you'll start to see the grass move, move across, so we know that we're logging. Um, see the o oxygen sensor working properly, fluctuating up and down. Um, Air temperature right now, we're looking about, it looks like something like uh, maybe 40, 45 degrees. It's cold and raining outside, so that's pretty much right. Um, so just let it idle, and you see the seconds across here. So just about to 30 seconds, so I'm going to bring it up to uh, 2,000 RPM and hold it there. And I'll just wait till the ticker comes across to 60 seconds. See the timing advanced a little bit like it should. Alright, and just let off. 
should hold idle and get another good 30 seconds out of it. stop. Alright, so now it has all this information recorded um, and you can scroll around just with the holding down the mouse and sliding back and forth um, and you'll see the number on top change. Real easy graphic display, um, in my opinion worth the money. There are different free applications that you can run on a Palm emulator, um, but you're not going to get this look out of them. Uh, but this this is not free, so there's your uh, trade-off. Uh, so I'll go ahead and file, save session, and I'll just save it as, uh, it's still 2K run, save. Alright, saved it, and now that's a file that I can, you know, send to other people that have this uh, program. Um, or people that have the demo, they'll be able to pull my information up and give me readings, so it's just a nice little thing you can pass around. Um, and then also I'll just show you how you can go to faults. Um, cool thing about this is I had some issues with my car where it just stopped running all of a sudden. Uh, check engine light came on for a second, but then went right back off. So when I went in and tried to do the trick where you get the, the light to flash up by hooking into your... Uh, into your diagnostic port down there, nothing came up. But now that I have this program, I can see these stored codes. This is what it threw. Intake airflow sensor, intake air temperature sensor, engine speed sensor, bromic pressure sensor. Um, top of my head, couldn't tell you what that is. Could have just been, uh, could have been from before I got the car, or it could be electrical issue. But then again, that's something I can just take, post online, and get more information on. Um, hope this was helpful. And uh, I'll uh, post up more runs once I can get the car on the road, but just way too dark and raining tonight, so I'll catch up later on.